News aides Garrett Burquist learned today that the state has mobilized the National Guard to help stranded drivers out there. He's joining us live downtown to tell us a little bit more about how the state is responding to this winter storm. Garrett. Yeah, well, road conditions here aren't quite as severe as what Cody just described. It's right now around here, it's still just a very cold rain. Let me step out of frame for just a moment. You can uh, overlook uh, I-65 down there, exits 110 A and B. Right now, traffic moving normally. It's just uh, very wet right now. But uh, Cody mentioned a lot of those uh, slide offs earlier, and state officials say they're devoting a big chunk of their resources to helping stranded drivers, such as the ones that he just described. But it doesn't help that conditions are different all over the state. Governor Eric Holcomb says this is not like any other winter storm his administration has faced. In my five years here, this is the first truly statewide weather um, event that has prompted us to have a response effort statewide. Some 1,700 INDOT workers are working 12-hour shifts to clear the roads. They face wildly different conditions from north to south. That means different strategies and timing. From Lake Michigan down to the Ohio River, we're going to see completely different types of winter storm. We're going to see the snow we're seeing today, and we're going to see ice down south. And so what that means for our folks is is, uh, is going to be more salt down south as, it, as opposed to having the blaze down on the ground, and more blaze on the ground up north and less salt. Officials say the most dangerous thing right now is if you get stranded on the highway amid falling temperatures. Officials have called in 240 National Guard soldiers to help out stranded drivers. They'll work in four-person teams around the state. But even with those resources, State Police Superintendent Doug Carter says help might take a while. We have limitations for the vehicles that we drive. And if we get 12 to 14 inches of snow, um, we're going to have a very difficult time uh, getting to you and likely will not be able to. And I hate saying that to you, but I, I think it's important that we talk about the reality of what this could mean. Now, officials say if you live in one county and you work in another, pay attention to the conditions in both counties. That way you can avoid getting into a situation where you need those state resources to help you out in the first place. Live in downtown Indianapolis, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.